essentially a flying gas station, this Air National Guard KC-135 is grounded. This following an emergency that has happened at least five times in the past two years to KC-135 refueling tankers from the 128th Air Refueling Wing in Milwaukee. That's right, at least five times in the past two years, a KC-135 from the 128th has developed hydraulic problems resulting in emergency landings at airports around the Midwest. You see, these tankers are about 50 years old. In fact, in June 2013, a reporter for Milwaukee television station WISN-TV12 investigated a rash of KC-135 emergency landings after hydraulic warnings. Upper Peninsula Breaking News called the 128th Public Affairs Office to verify this important safety problem. With overcast skies, the three-member crew of this KC-135 declared a hydraulic emergency. We spoke with Chief Don Hutchins of the Forsyth Township Fire Department. Okay, tell us what happened here today. Uh, we were paged out for an air emergency uh, out at Sawyer. There was a KC-135 uh, Air Force plane that was coming in with a, some sort of hydraulic emergency. Uh, it landed safely. Well, that's a good thing because I yep. know they carry a lot of fuel, right? Yep, there was... Uh, about 6,000 pounds or 6,000 gallons of fuel on board. 35,000 pounds, which is about 6,000 gallons. Emergency officials from across Marquette County responded to the plane's call for help, fearing it might crash while landing, which would have been catastrophic. And tell us how lucky we are because these. Yeah, if, if it would have went down, there was three crew members on board, and with uh, 6,000 gallons of fuel, that probably would have been a. Uh, real big explosion, so it's, it's a good thing that it, everything went according to plan. The KC-135 was among several planes from the 128th refueling wing that had been practicing touch and goes on K.I. Sawyer's long runways. I noticed another one came in and did a touch and go. Yep, that's what they were up here, was practicing touch and goes, and this one had an in-flight emergency. Now the Marquette County Airport, the once vibrant K.I. Sawyer Air Force Base, was a strategic air command base known as SAC and that means constantly on alert, with bomber crews ready to fly in moments. Uh, well, we used to have them. A long time ago there was KC-135s and B-52s being a SAC base here, yeah. This reporter has had the pleasure of riding on two KC-135 refueling tankers, as is shown in this photo when I worked at WLUC TV6 in Marquette. That was in the late 80s. During the missions, we refueled F-16 jets over Lake Huron. Then this reporter became only one of a handful of civilians to ride aboard a B-52 bomber. This while I did feature stories for the Marquette Mining Journal newspaper. I was given this official coin of the Sawyer bomb wing and a patch. This after a 12-hour flight that included 4th of July parades and an air show in Grand Rapids. This reporter hopes the officials at Milwaukee's 128th Air Refueling Wing get to the bottom of this hydraulic issue before there is a tragedy. This because the large number of emergencies on this flying gas station is scary to all involved. Greg Peterson, Upper Peninsula, Breaking News.